So hi guys, today I'm going to do a little fragrance video. It's three new ones and one a little bit older and my thoughts on them. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you some money saving bonus tips. I'm going to start off with a fragrance that I haven't tried before, but it's been around a little while. It's from the Mont Blanc Explorer range. Now the Mont Blanc Explorer range has been around since about 2019 when they came up with the first Explorer. This is the Mont Blanc Explorer Ultra Blue. This has been around since 2021. It's just I haven't tried it before and I thought I'll give it a go. I quite like this one in a normal Mont Blanc Explorer. I've smelled it a few times, quite like it. So I thought I'll give this one a go. And it's actually quite nice. It's a very clean, fresh smell. It feels like it's fresh out of the bath. It's got notes of the ocean and stuff in it, sort of sea sort of smells, which is part of the Explorer range, I suppose. Um, it's quite a nice smell. I quite like it. It comes in a nice bottle of oil, like they all do nowadays. One of the, It is one of the designer fragrances. In fact, all of these I'm going to show you today are designer fragrances. So they're not the niche ones and they're not the cheaper end ones. They're sort of the mid-range ones. It doesn't last all day. It's quite strong on, it wears in quite well, but you may need to top it up during the day. So if you're wearing it all day long, you're out at work, whatever, or for the evening, it will probably need at least two uses, i.e. one in the morning when you first come out, and then one maybe mid-afternoon, something like that. And like all of my other fragrances that I like, it's got my patchouli ingredient, which I like in it, as well as woody notes, a bit of leather, a bit of amber. Now the next one is a new one, it's come out this year, it's Michael Kors Pour Homme. It's just a basic fragrance from Michael Kors. I hadn't smelt any Michael Kors fragrances before. Um, it's quite nice, it's got a sort of a bottle with like a chain thing around it, which is quite unusual. Now the reason I mention this one next is because it's a similar sort of flavour and sort of scent as the Mont Blanc one. It's got a very similar sort of hint of ingredients, sort of the top notes and the middle notes. It's still got patchouli in it of course, but it's got pepper, bergamot, sort of a flowery lavender smell and of course there's the ocean as I said. It's another fragrance, it's just come out this year, it's a 2024 fragrance from Michael Kors. Not as fresh as the Mont Blanc. It's a nice all day again, it'll need topping up, but it's a nice all day fragrance. You could wear it to work, wear it out, it's just a day to day casual fragrance. So the next fragrance we're going to come to is another new one. It's a new one from the Versace Eros family. Now I've had these before, I've had the Eros Blue Parfum, which is one of my favourites, and I've had Eros Flame, which is also very nice. But my favourite is still this, the Eros blue parfum it's a really nice i do like this a lot the new one is eros energy and it's in a yellow bottle it's been sort of promoted by channing tatum there's been all the adverts and stuff with him in it it's energy for the summer so it's again it's a 2024 release it's been released for summer it's a very very different smell than the flame and the standard eros it's not the same as the other two it does contain some of the notes of the other two fragrances it's still got bergamot and pepper in it but it's a very 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 citrusy smell so it's lots of citrusy smells which gives you a sort of smell of lime grapefruit blood orange all sorts it is very very strong lemons and that for me is the overriding smell the overriding smell of it is lemon it's very citrusy it's very much like if you was to eat lemon drops so you know the old lemon drops of sherbet in the middle that you used to eat, the really good ones, not the crap ones you get nowadays, but the really nice ones. Once you spray it on, it does smell like you've been eating lemon drops all day long. But that also gives you that fresh sort of summer smell, although it's sort of the end of the summer now that I've got it. Um, it's a nice fresh smell. I'm not going to say I'm not against it. I have got some of it. It's not bad. It's a nice addition to the Eros range. It's just I think I would, if I was buying outright bottles, I'm going to stick with the normal blue and maybe the flame. The last one I want to talk about and last one I'm going to mention in this video is the new 2024 Dior Sauvage on Fort. This is a new Sauvage. This is different because it's a water based. All the other ones are sort of like all fragrances are alcohol based. So they're quite strong and they're quite harsh on the skin, which is where you get that sort of thing. Where if you were to spray it on your skin when you're younger, it sort of burns a little bit. As you get older, you don't notice it so much or as your skin gets tougher. So the water one is supposed to be really good for people with sensitive skin. It doesn't have that sort of effect. It doesn't burn when you put it on your skin. But I have tried it a few times now and I just can't smell it. It's very weak. The smell is not the Sauvage smell that you would normally expect from the Sauvage. It's a very weak 
muted smell i think now on their picture you get online they show it's quite intense but it isn't it's completely not what they say it is it's a different smell it's still savage ish but it's not as nice i don't think it's as good as the normal one i have the normal one which i would always recommend the standard savage by dior or the parfum this or the parfum but here's the thing as i've said previously in another video you can get the prada luna rosso carbon which is usually a lot cheaper. It's about half the price of Sauvage and it smells exactly like Sauvage. It's a very, very similar smell to Sauvage. So I would personally probably not go for the new water-based one unless you've got really sensitive skin, but then I'd probably look at a different fragrant manufacturer anyway. I don't think it's worth buying the new water-based on Fort. It's just not really do it for me. So I said at the beginning of the video, I'll give you a bonus. I've got a few bonuses in the way you buy fragrances. One of them is a video I've done previously. I'll link that here. That was to do with the Superdrug Pod. If you're going to Superdrug to look at your fragrances, you can buy a pod, which has now gone up a little bit. It's now $7.99. They will fill it with a fragrance of your choice from the normal sort of designer range for $7.99. So you can get something like the Mont Blanc or the Versace in a pod. Pod will last you quite a while, about 60 odd sprays. It's six mil. So it's not that bad. I would still recommend if you really like a fragrance, buy it out right the pods although they're very nice it's only six mil now if you can get a fragrance at a really good price then maybe the, you know the pods become expensive if the fragrance is really expensive the pods are cheap example being the mont blanc ultra blue in super drug is 81 pounds if you look online you can get it for about 35 40 pounds so it's half the price of super drug now for 35 40 quid for 100 mils of a bottle of fragrance compared to six meals for 7.99 you see the difference so it would actually work out more expensive with the pods if you used to get the same quantity so a quantity of pods would cost you about 96 quid whereas you can get the fragrance i said if you as long as you shop around and i'll put links to all the places you can shop around the tino all beauty boots and it will go between all of them on the web then you'll find that you can get these fragrances a lot cheaper as i said mont blanc you can get for around 35 40 quid you can even get the eros cheaper the other money saving tips as i've said before and again in my previous videos you can get samples of things so if you want to you can get samples from sample sites i'll put some links to some sample sites as well they will either do two mil or five mil of a particular fragrance the sample sites really on these sort of designer fragrances fragrances that aren't built to last every day and are less than sort of 100 quid the sample sites aren't always the best place to go for them although there's some new ones i'll put some links to the new ones because they're quite good sample sites are better for the really expensive fragrances so fragrances are normally sort of two three four hundred pounds then the sample sites are really good because you're going to get something you wouldn't normally go out and buy and that's the whole point most of these stores nowadays don't give you samples where well, none of the stores give you samples at all you get a spray on a little bit of card and you're like mm, okay do i like it or not i'm not sure Getting the samples from the sample sites for five or six or seven quid, whatever it is for a two mil or five mil sample is worth doing because then you get the choice of whether or not it's any good. There is another company that I'm going to review at some point. But I can't get their sample set. They do a sample set online actually for 20 quid. So I want to try those. So I'm going to give them a go and I will do a separate review on them when I get around to getting that sample set. But otherwise, at the moment, these ones, I would recommend shopping around before you purchase. Don't just go and purchase it straight out, right? Look for deals, look for savings. It's coming up to Christmas. There's going to be savings for Christmas. Last year, Boots had a really good deal for Christmas when I ended up buying the uh, Valentino Born in Roma, the Intense. That was on a special Christmas deal, which was really good. So it's worth looking around and not just paying the price as you see it in the shop. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. I will try and find some more fragrances to review. As I said, a couple of things I've got in mind. And thanks again. Bye-bye.